now that's where it gets kind of weird because there's you know now they're down 28 and they're going to run the ball at first down. I know. See, to me, what does that say about Ryan Day's opinion of Justin Field? Why are you doing this? Throw the ball. Yeah, it doesn't really make a lot of sense. And the other thing too is one of the things that I don't like about about this is because of the way that they they do their their checks are all coming from the sidelines. It's not coming yep. from the quarterback. He's not really having to use his mind a whole lot pre snap. But I think I mean, that's a really terms, big point to make about Ohio State quarterbacks. Yeah, in terms of you know the audibles, there's it's not like he's out there saying, "Okay, well here's the defense presenting us. This is what we're going to run." Instead, they get up there and they stand and they wait. You hurry to the line of scrimmage. You let Ryan Day look. He tells you it's kind of what Chip Kelly does. Yes, they, well they think they work together. Uh, it's true. Ryan Day was Chip Kelly's quarterback coach on the Niners. I covered that guy. Good point. All right, there he is looking to the sideline. Good point. Good point. Okay. Yep. Running the ball again. 13 minutes left. So second and 10. Now they're going to run a little screen out to the right side. This is, it looks like, I think this is the same screen they ran the first play of the yes. game. Uh, just Alabama's ready for it. They just, they come up and just smother it. Yeah. Sertan does a really good job of, of breaking that up. Yeah. Okay. Third and 13. Uh, here's a nice throw and a nice route by big Olave. Yeah, it's going to be a curl. It's just open all the time. It's a strong throw. Yeah, it's a good one too. You know, this is one of the ones. You know, it's a long across the field throw, so mm -hmm. it, it takes a while to get there. But look, he's throwing that ball before Olave has broken, and that's really what what say what saves this play. Yes, is because the ball's coming out now. Olave's still yet. He's just starting to make his break. And yeah, and again, like these are throws that Zach Wilson, Justin Fields make routinely. It's a nice thing to have in your offense. It's tough to defend, and I don't know if Kyle Trask really does this. You have to throw this with a lot of anticipation. He doesn't quite have the juice. If he doesn't throw it quick enough, it could be a pick six. Yeah, he's not going to necessarily be able to throw that ball across the field like this. That's a no. lot because of the hashes. Yeah, and and when NFL people see this kind of arm strength, they're very excited. Mm -hmm. um, this is a big reason why Justin Fields is considered a top three pick. This throw. Get, uh, coupled with his mobility and his general his, stature. Yeah, his feet and his, his yeah. build. Yeah, correct. And he takes the hit. I mean, let's give him credit. Yeah, because when you watch watch this ball, you can see it's not on a line. You can just see by the trajectory with how yeah. high it's going that it's not like it's on a line, but it's a good ball. And it's really saved by the fact that he's throwing this ball so soon. He's got the blitzer yeah. coming right in his face. All that stuff is really good. Yeah. Taking a shot right in the okay. face, he delivers it. Beautiful on third and 13. First and 10. Run. No, play action. Play action. He's moving to his right. They stop it, and then they run the wheel. That's a really nice route on the outside. They yes. run a – It's what look, they make it look like it's going to be a wheel, and then they cut it, break it to an out. It's really nice. He turns this guy all the way around. Oh, this guy's good. He's good. Yeah. He's like what the Niners wanted Dante Pettis to be. Yeah, I, I would say yeah. so. Yeah. It's funky. That's, that's a nice ball by uh, – Yeah. By the QB. I like the fact that they, they move them, but they're not rolling them out. That's that's kind of a nice little. Yeah, uh, as opposed to asking him to throw this ball on the run, it's like a little half roll, and it's like, dude, set your feet. Make mm -hmm. the throw. Boom. Yeah. Love it. They do that with uh, Zach Wilson, too, a little bit. Roll them yeah. out. Have them, yep, I like that. Mm -hmm. I like the way they call their offense a little bit better in the second half, at least for, for fields. Got them moving. Yeah, definitely works good. Yeah. So now he's taking a shot. Yeah, he just underthrows this one. Yeah, he's got him. He's got him beat. If he can get it out in front of him, he just doesn't. Can't really step into it fully because he's because of the uh, the blitz are coming off the edge. True. Which I think you know. But okay, Jack. My question here is: What about what about freaking Olave or whoever that guy is? He's. It looks like he's got. The inside release, the safeties in the middle of the field. I don't know. That looks. I like that one. But that's just me. Yeah, they're both open. Okay, fair enough. Really, I, I fair enough. I think they're both open. Yeah. Cool. All right. That one on the top's a little bit easier of a throw though, because he can miss that one inside and, and uh, yeah. let his receiver run to it. But he he made up his mind. He was looking left. He was open enough. Let it fly. Just uh, underthrew it a little bit. Put it out. I mean. Just get squeezed up against the line. That's the thing. But hold on. Let's look at one more time. So he decides to throw this. 
it's getting squeezed. There's not a lot of room for error there. Ah. Yeah, no, you're right. Yeah. No, you're right. He's open, but the DB is yeah. doing a good job of, of, really of pushing job. him over. You know, one of the things, and I, we've talked about this before with we're watching the Niners is that that yeah. room between the numbers and the, and the, and the hash, that's kind of the box of what really, when you're doing, when you're running this, when this guy's running the vertical, you want him to be running that vertical along the numbers. Exactly. So you give, so you give the, the, um, that area to the box area for the quarterback to, to throw it into. That's right. The DB does a good job of pushing him out against the sidelines, not giving any room. Right. The, the DB is coached to push him to the sideline, use the sideline as another defender. The thing, did you watch um, Last Chance U this year with uh, with Blaney? Most of it, yes. I love, I, I've known Coach Beam since I was in third grade because his uh, youngest daughter was at my elementary school a year older than me. And he's great. But I love when he kept explaining to Stern, the slot receiver, why he wasn't playing. He's like, why do you keep widening yourself out to the sideline? Who Who's coaching you to do that on this team? Why do you keep doing it, Stern? Remember that? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I remember that. Why that are one. you doing that? Uh, and, and the guy he was not, right. Yeah, and the receiver couldn't figure out why he was getting chewed out all day, day long. Most well, because you're not running the route right. Correct. And, and like I, your point is good here too. When you're saying to, that that guy on the top of the screen, you know, the, as we keep watching it, I didn't really think about it okay. to begin with. That's but, why I like doing it with you because there's no way I'm going to see everything, and probably no way you're going to see everything. Because that that guy on the top, if that's a good ball, if he throws that one up there, and he throws that ball a little bit more to the inside, he's got all kinds of room. Yeah. Yeah, uh, and that, that is Sertan over there. Maybe he's feeling. Uh, the thing is, the more I watch Sertan, <laughs> Jack, the more I'm like, I don't, I don't know about him. Eh, yeah, I don't know. He's good. He's good, but I don't know if he's like can't miss. No, I, I agree. The more that we've watched him play through this series, the more that um, I'm coming pitch. off of him as as being yeah, a top I'm, guy. I'm with you on that. Okay, I got to watch that kid from Virginia Tech. People like him a lot. He's bigger. Yeah, he didn't play this year, so you got to watch his 2019 film. Jeez, what a tough year to draft. God. Don't envy him. All right, second and 10. All right, let's go. Moving on. So this yeah. is that BYU, that little BYU cross again, and they run the wheel again. Boom, yep. Same thing. Looks this time. Again, like, dude, why did you pick the – okay, I'm a nitpicker with Justin Fields. I'm sorry, but you're going to be the number two pick in the draft. Why did you not go here? You pick this guy? This guy's open too. I don't know. No, you're right. That's where the ball should have gone is to the middle. But if you're going to throw to either of those guys, that ball should be going to the to the guy in the middle like he did in the first quarter. Correct. I mean, you already made this read. You already ran this play. Ah, Justin. Justin, Justin, Justin. He's a tease. He's a tease. Some of these plays, I'm like, I love this guy. He's the best. Well, I think part of it is because he's got that wheel route coming out there and he's he's staring the wheel route down a little bit and he comes yeah. off when and he comes off. Okay, where's my yeah, where's my where's my outlet? Let me go yeah. straight to the check down. Yeah, good yes. call. You see him looking, he's looking, 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 and he comes down, and it's the first thing he sees. Yeah, you're right. You're right. I, that's that's fair. And it's it's his guy. It's a lot of okay. And you can you complete it. So now you got third and five, it's third and manageable. Okay. Not your fault that this guy goes uh I'll start. Now it's third and ten. Oh, yeah, third and ten. Let's see what they got. Yeah, so the, yeah, third and ten here. This is a really nice one though, too. This is good movement in the pocket. He's gonna have guys around him. He does a good job stepping Ooh. up, avoiding the rush, resetting his feet and throwing that take. Beautiful. Uh, that crosser. You could see that route in Shanahan's offense. I you know, love this wide receiver. One more time. He's got the guys like, I'm not going to let you beat me to the inside. I'm not going to let you beat me to the inside. It's like, yes, you are. You're going to let me beat you to the inside. It just runs right by him. <laughs> great, great player. Uh, beautiful throw. Love that. Yeah. Smart. See, yeah. That's a route you can see. You'll see that a route similar to this with the 49ers. You know, they think of like, uh, Debo Samuel against the Rams, they ran this yep. route or else similar. No question. No question. Yeah. Just you know, watch, watching fields. He's got the, the un, unblocked guy. Does a great job of stepping up, resets his feet, and that's really nice. Yeah, let's watch fields' feet here. Uh, 58 coming around. Beautiful. Keeps his eyes downfield. That's so nice. If he could do that every time, man, he'd be a pro bowler. What a, what a play. Yeah, I really like that. I mean, that's what, that's yeah. what separates him. For me, that's what separates uh, him from Josh Wilson. From from who? From Josh Wilson or Zach Wilson? Excuse me. Zach Wilson. Okay, yeah. fair enough. Yeah. Yes. What, what, what would Zach Wilson do in this play, in your opinion? I think he's going to be running. He's going to run. Yeah. Yeah, he's going to run. So is Trey Lance. Yeah, no, no doubt about that. Yeah, Zach. At this point, Zach Wilson's running. Trey Lance is running. Justin Fields is throwing. Good for him. So, it was really good for nice him. Job. Yeah, yeah, it is really, nice. really good job stepping up, reset, and throw. I mean, that's that's really high level. Yeah, uh, footwork right there. I'm starting to get the sense that you prefer Justin Fields as a prospect to Zach Wilson. 
we'll just... starting to get the sense. We can talk about that later. <laughs> Don't get ahead of yourself. <laughs> Wait, the game's not over. Okay. <laughs> no. All right. But they're going to run the ball here a couple times to the left. Okay. Run, boom, boom. You got to establish the run down 26, Ryan Day. All right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So Ryan. third and four. Mm hmm. And they, and they bring the blitz and don't really have anything open. Everybody's kind of running with the, with the pressure that's coming at him. He doesn't really have anything. They're doing a good job downfield. He has Once again, no one adjusts their route again in the face of a blitz. Good job. Three verticals. It's good stuff. Yeah. It's the only thing that you could say right there is if you if you roll that back, right when he first steps up, the guy that's running down the middle of the seam right here is open watch right there, but he's not looking. And, he's not even he, looking. and, he, doesn't, and he doesn't look. If he throws that ball, he's going to throw it off his back. Yep. So that's why I think he ends up just pulling it down running because he's he wants to go there, I think, but he can't. By the time the guy turns, he's well covered by the inside and out. Okay, let me look one last let me one last devil's advocate thing. It seems to me, and I don't know if the guy's ever looking, but this guy, all right. What is this coverage? It's it, if I'm looking at if I'm the quarterback and I didn't play football, but I'm thinking, I'm seeing, okay, I know it's a post route, and I know he, he's going against a zone defender with outside leverage. I got a shot. I got a shot. And I don't know if he's looking at it, but if you throw that ball now, I think you got a shot. But I don't know. Let's look at it. from Maybe he didn't have the time to, to, to look to even get it there. He Does, does he see him now? Kind of. And then he gives up on it. I don't know. Maybe he just didn't have time. I, no, I see what you're saying. Because I yeah. think what they're in, they're in a they're – Quarters. A a, well, it looks like they're they're kind of bailing. Like the guy on the top is really that the guy that's on the the hash in the middle. That safety is really coming down. He's going to be your flat defender if if the but the receiver runs vertical. So then he mm. he goes up. I see. Um. Yeah. It, it's yeah. Is he playing? What is this? Is he, he's not a middle. Of, I don't know. It just seems like if it is quarters and this guy's playing outside leverage and the post is a touchdown all day. If this guy occupies him, but I don't know. Again, he's getting blitzed. Uh, that's a tough play. It's tough. Yeah, because if he throws the ball to that guy like right now, now he might, able, he might get there. But that guy's kind of falling off into his route anyway. True, not, true. How far He's that kind of splitting it? Yeah, how far that ball's going to have to go to get to uh, a tough one to that guy? I don't think he's going to be able to split it. He's going to have to be fair enough. That's a that's a dangerous throw. Um, still though, dude, you're down twenty six. <laughs> Well, he, picks, <laughs> no, he picks up the first down though. So that's, right. that's positive. So, you know, he, he, he I'd rather yeah. have a quarterback that does what he's doing here and is able to pick up the first down than throw an interception. You're right. You're absolutely right. Okay. Good call. See, see, that's why I need Jack on the show. Cause I get but, crazy. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'll be the worst coach. Throw this ball into triple coverage. We fired. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What is he doing here? This was a nice raise. Just a, it's a simple curl with a flat uh, combination. He, he does a good job and, and hits the right, the yeah. curl. Receiver does a good job too of continuing to come back to him. Yes. I'm not sure what, why he. I think he just slips and falls. I think so too. Okay, they're moving the ball. This is a great ball right here too. This should be a touchdown. I, I think the receiver oh. bobbles it though. Yeah, he, he doesn't get a foot in bounds or something, but it's a great back shoulder. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. Is this his best throw of the game? Is this his best throw? It might be. Uh, the other, they had to get the touchdown. I think, I think, yeah, best. but it's right, it's it's right up there with some of his other ones. It's you know, when, yeah. it's in his top, definitely in his top four or five of this game because mm -hmm. this is a great ball. He's throwing it across the field, which is really nice. So it's a long ball. He throws it with a lot of velocity because he's really able to step into it. You see that ball just zip over there. Mm. I think that I don't. I, what I think happened is I don't think the receiver was able to secure the ball when it hit. Him. I think you're right. Yeah. Just when I give that Olave some praise, he blows it. Good job. Well, it wasn't him, though, I don't think. I think that was somebody else. Oh, good point. Oh, see, number 11. He's terrible. Should have done <laughs> up. <laughs> yeah. Okay. But, All right, here we go. You know, great ball by Fields on that one. Yes. They're going to roll left. This is nice because he's rolling to his left. He's going to run that comeback again. He's just a super athlete. Great throw. Love this. This is how his NFL team should be using him, Zach Wilson, too. A lot of design rollouts. And it, it used to kill me how much Harbaugh would keep Colin Kaepernick right in the pocket. I was like, dude, come on, man. Like, yeah, it's really good at doing this left and right. Let him do it. I like that. Good call. Yeah, I remember. <laughs> we were cutting the field in half. Well, he's not reading the whole field anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. that's a nice one. All right. 
Okay. This is a he just throws this ball a little little off. It's a Texas yeah. route. Can't really fault him. It's it's one of those balls. It's that's the guy that where the bots where the ball should be going. He's the only one that's somewhat open, but it's really good coverage. And you know, you're not gonna hit every single ball. I think he gets held what, up a little bit right at the top of the as he stems. Right? What about Olave on the crosser? Oh, see, I see. If, if, yeah, if I'm him, I'm just like, I, I want to throw to Olave every freaking time. I'm sorry. He's open. Yeah. The reason though is they're running, they're, he's going here because they're, it's, it's man under. And, and it's, then, it's supposed and, to be open and he gets held. Yep. The guy, the guy that's covering running back has outside leverage. He's going to be coming back inside. It's a good, it's a good read. It's the look he wants. He gets the look he wants. It's the first read. Fair enough. Yeah. And he, the, yeah. he gets grabbed. They just don't get the call. All right. That's fair. Right. Yep. yep. You can see it better off from this angle. Yep. You can't eight. See, just because his hand across his chest should be PI. Okay, yeah, yeah, it should be. Okay. Hand off. No. No, this is. Okay. Little... This is a very interesting sequence for Fields. Let's watch this. What do you see here? He's just not open. That it's. I mean, he's open, but he, it's a it's a really tight throw. The play yeah. action and everything. He's he's not. It's a really tough one because he's he's going right from the play action. The ball's got to come right up. Yeah, and he's he not did, a he particularly just, good route by number eleven. He doesn't really get open. Yeah, he's not. He, he's open, but it's 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 got to be perfect. It's good. Def, it's not going to really hammer. Uh, yeah, fields for this one. What about Olave over here on the top of the screen? Yeah, yeah, but he's kind of he kind of breaks his, it off. Yeah, he kind of does. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, you live to fight another down. No harm, no foul. Uh, what we got here? Third and third and goal from the six. Yeah, third and goal. Okay. This is the play that we talked about earlier where they're going to – it's going to Olave. Yes, and again, it's late. Throw it now. Yep. By the time he throws it, Olave is already almost halfway into the end zone. Yeah. But it's, uh, I love seeing this because I imagine the conversation the coach had, either at halftime or on the sideline. We're coming back to this play, and I want you to do this when we do it. Okay? Got it, coach. It's yeah. late, though. Yeah, to give, him the, to, to give him a chance, that ball's got to come out right now. Yeah, pretty much across the goal line. Yeah, it's got to – yeah, you just you want to just give him a chance. I don't know. You know, he's kind of looking to the left, but I don't, and there's really nobody to look off. So I'm not sure what he's. Yeah, we can see the whole thing from the end. Now. Let's check it out. So you kind of you have the you have the matchup you want right now. You know what's going to happen. It's Olave against number eight, the linebacker. Don't wait. Yep. Alex Smith, <laughs> throw the ball. Alex Smith, man, he's like a super athletic Alex Smith. <laughs> yeah, uh, who's a good player. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Just a little late there. So yeah. Okay. So it fourth goal. Fourth and goal. Yeah, this is a bad one right here. Mm. Okay. It really starts off well. He's in the pocket. He's got, Ugh. you know, it breaks down. He starts to move. He's got his guy wide open and he just misses him. And he misses him. I mean, he's open for a long time. So it's the top of the screen. He's open now. He's uh, open now. Yeah. Got to move. Okay. He's still open. Okay. Touch your feet. Do something. This is a gimme. Ooh. Ooh. Yep. Got to make that throw to be the number two pick. I'm sorry, man. Yep. The only thing, like, the only thing, way that you can nitpick that one is really nitpicking the receiver a little bit. The receiver should have sat instead of continuing to, to slide to the right. He continues to kind of move. I see. That doesn't really help him by running like against the grain. Yeah. Yeah. Good point. You should be over here, buddy. Why yeah, are you should've... running away from him? Yeah, because in order to hit that receiver in the hands, he's got to get that ball over the linebacker is because that receiver keeps moving. It's a really hard throw. Yeah, it is. It's a it's a it's the receiver the receiver's making it harder on him than it should be. You're right. You know. Yeah, like sit down. Sit down. Yeah, he's throwing yeah. That receiver because if because if he throws he the sit ball down over here the, between the A and the M and not the B and the A, it's a whole different story. Yep, he you need to, a, yeah, over here, buddy. You're right. He had to sit right down at the top of the B on the on the, the right yeah, side. Right. Of the, yeah. Between like the there. Be there. Or right there. Right there. Yep. Stop there. Mm -hmm. Instead, you go another five, seven yards. Ugh. Okay, good point. Justin. Oh, he should have thrown no lobby. Well, no, he wasn't open. All right. Four. Yeah. You're not, now you're not going to beat Alabama. God, that game, that play right there. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So six minutes left. 
Yeah, this is their last little possession. Hmm. I, oh, I, I there might be some more, but I stopped writing it down. All right. He's going to get sacked. It's a, just a quick sack right here. He's not able to. Yeah, he got quick either. pressure. Yeah. It's just the end game against Alabama. It's never pretty. Yeah. All right. He Running back. Corner. He yeah. checks that one down. He, he, I think if he throws this ball right now, he's got the the corner route. He's yeah, why not? It. Not under pressure. No, he's got it down here. He's got to throw that one to the sideline. You know, he's got the safety set on top of that, but if he throws this ball on time and to the outside, it's a completion. He also has – so he basically has all three of his wide receivers open on the right side and chooses to check down. It's very interesting to get inside his head because for such a supreme athlete who really moves and throws like Car like Cam Newton, he's cautious. Maybe maybe that's a good thing. I don't there's, know. Yeah, there's, there's definitely some things to like about a guy that takes – you know, that doesn't just – He's got some game manager tendencies. It's interesting. Yeah. yeah, I would have liked to have seen that that second the, the deeper Me ball too. On that one, especially in that situation. Uh, yeah. You you know, have that's to lose, they, man. You're gonna lose. They ran it earlier in the game. It's the same play they ran earlier when we said how the, what a nice Correct. ball it was. Correct. Now you get sacked again. Well, he gets the ball away at least. Yeah. Not able it's to kind of open, but you know, I guess you're trying to get the ball down the field. That's the ballgame.